Hello, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, which we try to a series in which we make a deck out of every single legendary creature in Streets of Penna. Today's uh, commander is Lagrella the Magpie. I'm gonna be honest. I don't love this deck. Um, I have made at least four variants of decks with her as a commander. None of them have quite worked the way I would like them to 100% of the time. Um, she's a very trickable, tricky card to try to build around uh, and very difficult. So let's just go over what she does. She's a 2-3 human soldier for uh, 3, except it's 1 green, 1 white, 1 blue. And her effect is when she enters the battlefield, you can exile one creature from each um, player in the game, effectively. And when those when she dies or leaves the battle, sorry, when she leaves the battlefield, those cards re-enter. And when they do, the creature if a creature is controlled by you when it re-enters, uh, you put two plus one plus one counters on it. So far, she is the least fun card I have had to try to make a historic brawl deck around. Here's why. For starters, she's in three colors hard, as opposed to, say, Tolitz the Conductor that we've done before, or the Leaders of the Houses from Capenna. She is a hard cost, right? Um, there's no flexibility with her if you're going to try to drop her, drop her on turn three. Second of all, her effect is not very good, um, and it's very difficult to build around. She either functions as a sort of temporary removal or a sort of removal into buffs. Um, and the two plus one plus one counters that come she, that cards you control come in with is basically more of a okay so if you exile your own card and an enemy card then you can get a card back at some point that's a little bit stronger but if you're using her to remove an enemy target spell she's just not all this great so after several days of testing the list i have come up with is effectively it's effectively historic good stuff right we have a lot of cards like Day of Judgment, Depopulate, Shatter Board Wipes, basically. We've got a fair amount of counter spells, combined with a few big, larger bombs, a few card draw, and then finally, uh, weirdly enough, the best results that I've had in this deck are with things like um, Cave of the Frost Dragon, Lair of the Hydra, any of the thing lands they've created. So effectively, Honest stories that I tried to make a cool deck with this card. Um, I tried doing ETB triggers, did not work. I tried doing what else did we try? I tried aggro, doesn't work either. I've tried just general like mid range, did not really work. The colors that she builds around and offers as a commander are fairly strong, but the actual utility that she offers is just complete garbage um as a one-off in something like a draft i can see her being useful right because she offers sort of a weird combo of removal and also the threat of hey if you destroy me anyway i'll come back and i'll i won't come back but i'll bring a stronger threat back onto the field right but the fact that her stat line's kind of garbage there are much better cards that do the sort of thing she does exile and return to the battlefield and everything else means that oh great see it's all right means that the end of deck that we I created was just sort of, hey, I'll take best advantage of these colors as I can, and we'll see what happens. So we'll play a couple games with her. We'll see how things work out. Um, we have a one drop. We have a two drop. Opponent goes first, so the one drop doesn't matter as much. But, um, but the, I guess the other interesting thing about the deck that might be worth mentioning is that we basically do life. It does actually remove pretty much all of the, um, there are no basic lands in this deck, and that's honestly probably an oversight. Not enough of one that I'm not going to do it, but definitely an oversight. So, uh, this is the Atora, so we'll do a deck for her at some point in the future, we'll go over what she does. Basically, sack another creature, deal damage to deal six damage, or specifically Zeotor's power to any target, and then create three treasure tokens. Um, I think she's probably a fairly solid card. Not magical, not incredible, but you know, solid card. 
Uh, what do we do here? I like having the gate and map set up. Uh, I think we just passed the turn. The Zimone is actually a really solid card. Um, I never made a commander deck with her, but she does a lot of work in, um... Why am I blanking on the format? Drafts. I got a lot of value out of her in Strixhaven drafts. Well, so far he's played Grumgully and not too much else. We only have one of the land, though, so maybe holding this was not worth it. Yeah, we'll see. We still have the negate. Never mind. Holding this was definitely worth it. Manatith. Goodbye to your... What is that even? 4-4. Four, four. Past attackers. We're going to 5-5. Five, five. I like this card a lot. She's really cool. Just two solid effects. Um, may as well do this now. What colors do we need? We have access to white. We have two white sources. We have two blue sources. We don't have two green sources. May as well get two green sources. I don't really think this deck requires it, but we can't hurt to grab them now. Um, I want to do this. The fact that the game is like even like you play it tells you, hey, are you sure you want to target your own cards with this ability? It says a lot about how useful this card is as a commander. Not very. I'm sure somebody can do something really cool with this, maybe in. You know what it is? It's it, it just feels like anything you would do. Take action. Anything you would do with her, you can do better with Chalarune, Teller of Tales, or something else in a similar color, right? No blocks. Um... I might end up regretting this, honestly. We have Teferi's Protection, though. That's a very solid card. Don't we have the sources to use? Screw you. I'm not dealing with you. Hate you. All my friends We have this power to kill. So next turn, we will. One, two, three, four. We actually can't crack out the board wipes just yet, can we? We're going to take another seven. Maybe I should have done cleansing earlier. Uh, come on, land. You're not a land card. We can play you, though. Now, if we're lucky, he's stupid and plays something before going to combat. If we're unlucky, he's smart and knows that he should just go to combat to avoid offering me any extra trigger phases. Hey, he's stupid. Maybe assuming that it's a dude is wrong, but given that it's Stephanie, I will come to that, and I will blow up your crew, Captain. If we don't draw another land soon, we are absolutely hosed. This deck does have a 40 land to, you know, 39, six, sorry, not 39, 60 uh, other cards. I still haven't been able to ever get it to, like, that's game. But we play these out. You have to do something horrifically wrong to let me live this turn. That's a 
Hunt game one. We'll do a few games with this deck. I want to be honest, I think this is probably the single worst list that I've come up for in this series. I tried a lot of things to make this work. I just couldn't find something that felt good. Um, the Jetmere list works fantastically. Gata list, a lot of fun. Rafine list, really cool. Tola's list is like awesome. It's like, hey, let's make a 26 card hand. So let's have a lot of hand sports like this. This deck just sucks. And I have no idea what to do about that. Uh, we don't have a one drop. Enter's tapped. We have memory lapse though. Uh, can we play branch locked. We have a two drop. No, we have a three drop. Cap net. Um, we don't have a two drop. Enter's tapped. Who's his commander again? Tegrid. So lots of sacrifices. That's terrible, actually. That's really bad. Dungeon Descent to Captain to the board. Mind Stone. Bruh. Alright, so he didn't read how Capnet works. That's good for us. This is good for Bitcoin. Um, we need two white to hit the threshold for most of the Tap down Kefnet. We'll just grab a quick starting to venture into the dungeon. I misread how this works. Did bad math. Now we don't have access to Sensor. Yeah, well, that's fine. Worst case scenario, we'll discard Sensor, grab Faithful Mending, discard Pencil, say Faithful Mending, and then we can flash back to later. I'm shocked. Okay, we have two whites. We have one green, two green, we have two blue. We don't have anything that requires a threshold right now. We have a lot of blue cards in hand. We have a lot of white cards in hand. Oh, there's no real reason to not just do this, is there? Yeah, saw so your bullshit. I'm indestructible. By indestructible, I mean this one specific card. Unless you make me sacrifice it, move it, move other stuff. What's that do? Artifactor creature. Yeah, can't make me discard artifactor creatures if I don't have any, because this deck sucks. Drop two cards. I draw two cards, discard two cards. Sure, what's the worst that can go wrong? Um, Overwhelming Splendor, we're really far off casting. Sensor has limited utility as long as it knows I have it in hand. I if I have everything else though. Yeah, we'll get rid of those two. Um, but yeah, so this is basically the way this card works, deck works, we have a couple. Absolutely not. None of that, please, thank you. We're gonna have to wait another turn to go fix, go fetch the card that does exactly what you want. It screws me. Okay, options. Hold for no escape. Faithful mending and mending into no escape. Let's do it that way. I'm gonna. This could be a mistake. This is probably a mistake. I'm gonna make it anyway. We have two green. We have. We don't have two blue. And it's... Oh, right. I didn't put any basic plans in this deck because I'm an idiot. I suck. Just a lot. Hey, but we still have no escape. Yeah, this time it will resolve. We can't stop you. I suck so much. It's an almost impressive level of suckage. People will watch this video 100 years from now, and they'll go, wow. 
Christ, he sucks. There is literally zero reason to do this. If we get one win with this deck, I'll be happy. This list is just complete garbage. Ha ha ha! Baguette, motherfucker! Auto pay. Can't do anything with that. May as well go to combat. Should have tapped another. Shouldn't have tapped this though, in case we. Shocked. But not surprised. We have the counter spell and the board wipe. That's a 4 5, so this will give him a card. I think we hold here. So basically, the way this deck works is we ignore the fact that Labrella is our commander, and we pray desperately that he doesn't do things like, you know, play a planeswalker. Because if he does that, we're just. This S battle is going to end L. on my terms. No point in saving the board wipe. We're doing things my way. May as well force some sort of response. Why aren't you a better card? Okay, so she's not even a bad card, right? Is the thing. That's why she's in the uncommon slot. She does a cool thing in both removing things from the board and turning something else into a bigger threat. If you're building something around stuff like, let's say, um, so specifically, like the modified keyword that got introduced in Return to Kamigawa, yeah, very useful. Puts two one counter onto the board and removes a threat. And then says, hey, if you choose to remove me and get your card back, you'll be giving me a bigger tool to work with. But as a commander, she's just so lackluster. She doesn't do jack all. I have no interest in fighting fair. Which is probably why this deck, uh, does best. When you just build it as blue, white, black, uh, what's it, blue, white, yeah, blue, white, green control. We're doing things my way. All right, I can't stand up to that. You're all going, why are you doing that? That's terrible. I agree. Hey, but that's a good card. Hypnotic Spectre. I don't have any land to discard. What are you going to do to me? Let me watch how long the stream has gone. I think we're planning, I'm planning to go for like 30 minutes, so maybe one or two more games. Temple of Dumai Cthulhu. Draw a card. I bet you've never seen necromancy this good. Oh, that's any battlefield, isn't it? That's real bad. I think the technical term is hosed. <sighs> you know, we're just gonna hope that on turn 12-ish or so, he still chooses to play three drops. May as well start going to the world. It's not going to get any worse. I really wish this card is just so underpowered. The fact that, like, the fact that it started out as a four tapped any untapped legendary creature ventured to the dungeon, and then, like, whoops, that's hot garbage. I really don't care about your plans. Come on, boy.
board white. There's got to be at least one more of them in the deck. Well, that's real convenient. So if I was him, next turn I'll fetch my thing back. Um, this is making me lose a lot of life. Let's try to get it off the board. Even with stuff like the fog or Let's else. never cross paths again. Good. I'm fine with that. I don't have to listen to your voice acting anymore. Yeah, I bet he wish he had an exile of my graveyard. Aha. You can't figure out what I'm doing if I don't know what I'm doing. Downside is at this point he can just chip me down with Tegrid. Just doesn't have trample or anything. Unless of course he decides to not do it that way. How this works with the control of stuff, if stuff inherently. Alright, we're going to do one more game after this one. In the hopes that I can put up a win with one of these... ...pieces. I thought I... Oh, I played you in the last game. Any of these discard cards from hand? No. But... Because they don't, doesn't mean you won't go grab the Hypnotic Spectre bag. There's no reason to do anything else to actually go to combat. Uh, why can't I activate this? Right, because summoning sickness is a thing, and I'm an idiot. Return. See, the funny thing is that because this deck is intended to basically be good stuff soup, it actually does have Tormod's Crypt in it. Oh my god, why are you playing so unaggressively? Okay, 
better question, why is it that I cannot draw any useful cards? Um... Oh, I see, right. He's just afraid of the fact that I have a 14-14 that I could be like, SURPRISE! At any given point in time. Okay, fair enough. Sasuka. Do I even have any creatures to return to the battlefield? You can't remove the cards in my hand if they're all land. Sorry, I was probably kind of loud. Outplayed again. Giga Brain Strats. Who's all lands in the deck? I always forget that sagas work like that. <laughs> that sucks so much. Oh right, I don't have any permanents because my board state is completely scuffed. Emblem's really good, but it does make this dangerous assumption, which is that I am not an idiot and I'm playing creatures in my deck. That's good. Time to point out to him that my commander's entire thing is going to allow me to just that. I'm looking for new minions. Care to volunteer? I think we're still pretty hosed, unless he's like, I'm gonna be super careful as the careful man. Aha! 
I don't have any cards with three or less men in my hand. You mother dumbass. Oh, I do have cards with three greater men. Now it's smart to do this. Nope. You think too much. What's interesting is this card doesn't actually define whose control cards into the battlefield under what they're defined by. By interesting, I mean I find that interesting because I'm a massive loser. So we could draw two more cards and hope that one of them is board wiped. We could just go to combat. Or we could at least get the, like, a laugh on him. Yeah, one of these could be a board wipe. They're not. But they could have been. Maybe we should have, we should have, uh... Yeah, it's game. I wish this deck was better. I feel like this deck is 90% hey, let's just hope that like, we went off the back of our land. I wonder maybe if I should add, you know what, actually, oh, okay, we'll fix this. drops let's go with because if we somehow draw a plane for the next turn this means that we can planes to prepare for absorb on turn three to block the field otherwise you know, just suck it up and die Access to reject.
they if they think that I'm already playing a bugger that. No, you may not have two draw steps. Piece of shit. Uh, smothering time. Come on, buddy. Pay the two mana. Pay it. You know you'll want to. Oh, he actually did pay it. Worst way possible, though. Unless he's a land in hand. Why would tap colored land over the guardian idol? Um, this is probably the right choice here. Maybe Shadow of the Sky is better just because it, yeah, we're to do it. Come on, game. Let me get one win. One win for the like three or so people total that might watch this video. Hey, but that's like a lot more than the zero or so total people that would ever watch the video. I'm gonna keep this over there. Auto tap algorithm is a bit to be desired. hold off because we have a bunch of stuff that we can do and we get more if it gives us treasure tokens smothering tithe out here doing work though Both my war wipes are equally good. This one is cheaper. I would like to keep building up towards having a board. But I'm going to get rid of those two instead. May as well cast them twice, no reason not to. That's interesting that he chose to counter that of all things. Um, well, let's wipe the board then. Taking notes on how I feel every uh, 30 minutes or so for reasons. I'm not sure that these ones are going to be particularly actionable. I'm still annoyed. Because I am playing against Blue Black. Their commander suck. It's not exactly the I don't know what lifestyle changes you make to be like, I won't be upset because I won't be playing against decks with really solid commanders. It's okay though, because after this video is over, I'm never playing this deck again. 
God, I hate Lagrella. I tried really hard to make a good deck with her. I just couldn't figure it out. Maybe you just have to be someone who's smarter than I am. I can see that. What are you gonna do? All right, um, I think we want to keep open as much as possible. Yeah, we'll still have access to four. It's fine. But this is the thing, right? Just that every other video I've made, the commander has been sort of an implicit and important part of the deck. And you can see that this this game is weirdly enough probably going the best for us, even though he has like a billion cards in hand and all that jazz, right? And I haven't played this person a single time. Now that's interesting. He has not chosen to do that for many of these other turns. So he's gonna try to play something big. <laughs> Wrong choice though. Hey, we got it. One W. Lagrell, anyway, ladies. There we go. Let me go check real quick. If... Testing, testing. Yeah. Okay, we still got the levels. Sorry, I pulled out my headphones in my excitement. That is Lagrell at the Magpie. Um, she's a perfectly reasonable uncommon card that is a absolutely terrible historic brawl commander uh thanks for stopping by as always um if you have any suggestions as to what cards you'd like me to see do decks with next please let me know in the comments um same thing goes for if you have feedback the deck list that i played today on the stream is also in the comments um unlike most times i do these it is a terrible terrible deck list if you do in fact copy it please add basic lands for some of the searches and other stuff and uh let me know if you, if you disagree if you think this is the best commander ever also still let me know in the comments something something lick the scrib button and i will see you later thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching